My client has $400,000 that they'd like to put to work in the Cleveland market. Maria from California, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise, and this is your show, folks. This is the show where you and I, we work together to find you investment properties that are on the market in the Cleveland area. We've got over 5,000 real estate agents or this is also the show if you purchased or are in contract to purchase a home from any of those other agents or wholesalers for sale by owners direct mail whatever it is if anybody's pitching you a particular property in the cleveland market you can come on this show and you can get my take on if it's a good investment for you or not and today i am working with a client of mine she is from california her name is maria now Maria, you are planning on getting a loan all in. You don't want to spend more than $400,000 as far as the cash you've got available. You have $130,000 in a 1031 exchange account, and then you'd like to get a loan for the rest, but you want to keep everything to four hundred dollars or less. You've owned various properties uh, throughout your career. Most recently, uh, you had some Section 8 properties in Oklahoma City, and you've also invested in D-Class properties before, and you'd like to uh, avoid Section 8. You'd like to avoid D-Class. You're looking to go moderate to lower risk. Uh, you're currently retired, so you, you don't want to deal with peaks and valleys, which is totally understandable. You're looking for something uh, very low risk, which I have identified two properties that are very low risk for you. One thing uh, we got to discuss, though, just so you know, you were hoping with what you want to invest you have up to 130k in cash you can get a loan we can spend up to 400k and you want to target stuff that's super low risk with all of that uh, you were hoping to generate 20,000 or more in net income with you leveraging these assets that much and targeting assets that are super low risk in addition in your notes to me you said you didn't want to do any large rehab so you're not going to be targeting anything distressed uh, that's not plausible to hit that type of return in the Cleveland market. You know, that'd be approximately a 20% cash on cash return for a super low risk turnkey property. That is just not something that is doable here in this market. But that's why you get these personalized analysis products from me. You get these because I lay out for you guys the very best plan for you that closest fits your needs with what is possible in this market. And the first one that closest fits your needs, everything that you want to do, checks all your boxes that I found for you is 3441 Altamont Avenue, Cleveland Heights, Ohio, 44118. This is a very, very nice property. It just hit the market eight days ago. That's what you see here. This is days on the market. Eight days on the market, 149.9. It is listed by a Remax agent. And this thing is beautiful. Before I show you the photos, though, let me tell you what the agent said. Totally remodeled duplex in a highly sought-after area in Cleveland Heights. I would agree. This is a very nice area. Definitely B-class area. The downstairs unit offers three beds and one bath. Upstairs, two beds and one bath, as well as the finished third floor. Suitable for a bonus room or third bedroom. New flooring throughout, freshly painted throughout. New doors, newer windows. Both furnaces brand new in 2020. Both hot water heaters brand new in 2020. New roof, new electrical and plumbing fixtures throughout. 
new electrical panels and updated wiring, new plumbing, new garage doors, fantastic opportunity to own a turnkey property for either an owner, occupant, or investor. Call for more, more information such as expected a rent roll and to schedule your private tour today. Now, they were right. They, they did a hell of a job renovating this thing. This thing looks very nice. I'll show you the pictures here. Everything looks good to me. Like this right here with the nice vaulted ceiling. I mean, that's great. This is exactly what tenants are going to want to see. This this is beautiful. This They did a pretty bang-up job. They made this thing look very, very nice. I'm very pleased with how well these folks renovated it. I think they uh, did a bang up job. Let me make those bigger for you. Let me go back. Go back here. Show you a couple more. Here we go. Nice modern decor. You know, you got the agreeable gray looking paint. Nice neutral decor. The 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 white wash trim. I like that. You know, the one thing I am a little bummed about is this kitchen. I still think we're going to attract high-quality tenants, but if they're going to do all this work to it, I would have liked to see them maybe whitewash these cabinets, paint them white. I think it would have looked nicer and matched the rest of the decor. But I'm going to go over what I think we can rent this for here momentarily. So it's still pretty high amount. But, you know, if I'm being picky, I just think they kind of underwhelmed in the kitchen compared to everything else like we got nice updated fixtures in the bath it's just that kitchen is slightly underwhelming to me um, it would have been nice to see that but you know it is what it is with what we've got it is still pretty damn nice and if you want you could spend a couple grand and have Holton Wise go in and update that kitchen even more but you know I think we probably would want to test the market just as it is because I still think we're going to attract some high quality tenants because everything else in this is just bang up it's beautiful very, very nice. Very pleased with what they did. All right. And here's the last kitchen. Okay. Bada bang, bada boom. Now, as far as what we're going to be able to get in rents, the three-bed, one-bath unit, we should be able to rent that bad boy for nine seventy-five a month. The two-bed, one-bath, we should be able to rent that for eight seventy-five. So that's going to be eighteen fifty a month, 22200 a year. As far as your purchase price, I would like to try to get this for you for $140,000. Now, I can't guarantee you they will accept $140,000. They're obviously a professional seller. It looks like they do this for a living. They're doing high-quality renovations. They've even got information on property management and expected rent. So it sounds like they know what they're doing. So they probably have a, a good idea on the pricing they're going to get. I don't think it's a bad deal if you have to pay full price, one forty nine nine, But, you know, it's a relatively expensive property. Most folks that are coming into the Cleveland market, they're aiming for lower cost duplexes. They're looking for, you know, the most popular stuff is usually that C-class higher risk stuff, and it's under a hundred grand. So, you know, you're in a pool where there's maybe not a lot or as much competition for these higher cost duplexes. So I think we should be able to get you around 140. But if you had to pay list, that's totally fine. But assuming we get you this property for 140, I want to show you what the numbers would look like. And I've broken down the return and all that jazz. And the return is actually going to be a little bit higher for you than what I've broken down. Now, we got rent, 1850 And, you know, if you've seen my show, which I'm sure you've seen it several times, I break all these numbers down. And we got repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, capital expenditures. I'm going to calculate $92 a month for each of those. Here is the thing with that, though. I'm not adding that money into your return. When I give you your return, it's going to seem, uh, you know, probably a little bit lower than you were hoping because, I mean, you were looking for around 20%, and that's just not plausible. But this, this is going to be definitely uh, lower than that. But you got to look at this. Like your CapEx, okay, that is you saving your money for the furnaces, for the hot water tank, for the roof. Roof on a big old property like this, that's probably like an $8,000 roof, right? Furnaces, you're looking at six grand because you got two furnaces. Hot water tanks, you're looking at two grand because you got two of those. Roof, every 30 years. Furnaces, every 30 years. Hot water tanks, every 15 years. You don't have to worry about 
any of that for at least 15 years. The first thing you're going to have to do is the smallest thing, which is this hot water tanks. But they're brand new right now. So it should be about 15 years of you saving up that 92 bucks a month without having to spend any of it. And then at that point, you're only going to spend two grand. And then after that, you got a whole another 15 years before you have to do those furnaces or the roof. So a lot of this... Uh, money is just going to be sitting in your pocket so you're going to have that to utilize you know with whatever you want to do now i always calculate that stuff for you guys because you know it's not like you can buy a property and you never have to do a roof but for you you're in the best possible position here because they have literally done everything so keep that in mind when the actual return comes out at the end of the, my analysis here i don't want you to get sour on the deal because you're aiming for something higher because this is really a very solid deal and i think it's very important for you You've had poor experiences in other markets with the higher risk stuff. You're already at retirement age. I don't think at retirement age when you need to live off these funds, I don't think that's the time to take these risks. I think you need to sacrifice some return for some stability here. So keep all that in mind. Taxes, 361. Insurance should be 100. We will be able to quote the insurance for you. That's a, an approximation. And as far as your other properties and the rest of your portfolio go, reach out to us in the show notes below. We got a link to our farmers franchise. We will be able to quote rental properties in all 50 states. We aim to lower your insurance. We only do rental real estate. So check that out for this property and your others. See if we can't save you some money, add some more money to your bottom line. Water and sewer, you as the landlord got to pay for that here in the Cleveland market. So you're going to be running approximately 150. Lawn care should run you approximately 44 bucks a month. We cut grass 16 to 18 times a year out here and we charge about 33, 34 bucks a cut. So it's going to be 528 for the whole year. PM fees 185. So on average, you should anticipate bringing in $1,850 a month. You should anticipate spending an average of $1,116 a month. But remember, again, that's not every single month. And specifically, like with your property, you know, these capital expenditures that you're saving, that $92, you're going to be saving that for a very long time before you got to spend anything because everything on here is completely renovated and done for you. So the asset is actually probably going to kick off a much higher return that I'm going to tell you here conservatively in the analysis. In addition to that, your vacancy and non-payment that I've got factored in, that 92, you're providing these tenants with A, a high quality neighborhood, so you're going to get higher quality tenants, and B, you're providing them with a really, really nice, freshly renovated property. So your vacancy and your, your bad tenants, your tenants from hell, that type of stuff is, is probably going to be lower. So I would say that's probably pretty conservative too. You're going to make a little bit more money there. And then as far as repairs and maintenance, that ties right back in to the property being totally new, totally fresh, and having lower vacancy. I don't think you're going to have much repairs and maintenance because you ain't doing furnace service calls. You ain't doing hot water tanks service calls all that stuff's brand new you don't have to do small you know small little patch jobs on your roof or anything so i, I really think you're going to save a lot of money there so even with that factored in where you don't count those you're still going to bring in 734 a month in noi or 8808 dollars a year now i know you wanted to bring in 20,000 off of two properties so we'd almost be there halfway however it looks like you don't have enough cash to do both of these purchases cash, so you'd want to finance them. So in that particular situation, we get you a 30-year loan from our lenders. Uh, if anybody else is out there watching the show right now and you want to get pre-approved, whether you want to buy here in the Cleveland market or anywhere else, shoot my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We'll get our list of lenders to you. These are lenders that do 30-year loans. You only need 25% down. The interest rate is fixed, none of that you know, adjustable rate mortgage, high interest stuff. This is long-term debt, low interest, tax deductible debt. We'll get you set up. If we do that, if you did that on this property, right, you pick it up for 140, which is what I'm targeting for you. You only need to put down 35K. Our lenders will loan you 105K. That's gonna add a mortgage payment of 532. So your NOI on average should be 734 minus off your 532. That's going to give you a net cash flow of 202 a month or 24, 24 a year, which is a 6.9% cash on cash return for a super low risk investment. On top of that, you got $130,000 to play with. 
this would only eat up 35 of that, so you'd still have $95,000 left. You don't need to spend any of that money doing anything to this property because this property looks pretty darn nice. As far as the point of sale report, uh, if you're not familiar with what point of sale violations are in the show notes, I'm going to have a link to my point of sale video to give you guys an idea, but those are going to come, this property is going to come completely point of sale violation free. Nothing you got to do. This is just 100% turnkey. So we'd want to, you know, try to target this for you. 140 K you spend 35,000, you still have $95,000 left to pick up some more low risk assets. We're going to go to a quick word from the sponsor of today's show, then we're going to get into the second property I've got for you. G'day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in, so when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. All right, Maria, welcome back. The second property I've got for you is 1702 Prior Ave, Cleveland Heights, Ohio, 44118, another B-class neighborhood. This has been on the market for quite a while, 166 days, priced at $199,000. I first came across this property a couple weeks ago because I actually analyzed it for another one of my clients, and he opted not to buy this particular property. I did two properties for him in his video, just like I'm doing for you, and he really liked the other property in that video, so we chose to move forward with that property we're currently under contract on that scheduled to close in a week or two so he had no interest for this property but i think this could work out very well for you so i want you to take a look at that footage now the property 1702 prior avenue cleveland heights ohio 44118 listed for a hundred ninety nine thousand dollars but right here i want to bring your attention to this right here 143 days on the market okay that is a very, very long time for an occupied rental property to be sitting on the market here in Cleveland. These properties are flying off the shelves. So what that tells us is that $199, the market is telling this particular seller, hey, man, that's too much money. You're asking for too much money, and I think it is. I, I think that's way too much money. Well, not way too much. It's pretty close. Uh, but I think we need to get a substantial discount. I would like to see you pick this up at $180,000, okay? $180,000. That sounds like a lot because it's $20,000 less than the current list price, but that's really only a 10% discount. You know, you go to a store, 10% off, that's fairly common. If this property was just listed four days ago, like the previous one I just told you, I would say, hey, that might be a waste of time. I don't think that seller would do that. Maybe we're, we're barking up the wrong tree. But 143 days on the market, you'd be surprised when a property sits on the market that long, how open the seller is to actually coming off of their price. This particular seller, this is a flipper, I'm assuming. It looks to me like they bought this thing in like completely just destroyed shape uh, back in 2018. And I'm assuming they had a huge point of sales uh, violation report that they had to put, you know, fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars into it if I had to guess based upon how cheap they bought the house. They actually bought the house for under thirty thousand dollars. Only reason something like that would happen is if there's an insane amount of repairs because the value is definitely here in this particular neighborhood. So because of all that I would assume if we pick this up at $180,000 like I want you to, I would assume it's going to come point of sale violation clear. It's already occupied. It's got tenants in there. So I'm assuming a, a bunch of stuff's been done to it. And you don't have to worry about any of your point of sale violation 
Um, the listing agent hasn't written anything in the listing about that, but I wouldn't want you to pick this up if you had to assume those point-of-sale violations. And seeing as a gigantic renovation just took place two years ago, I see no reason for the seller to be able to clear those out. Now, if you're watching this and you're like, what in the hell is point-of-sale violations? These are very, very common in the Cleveland market. Not in Cleveland itself. So our previous property, 2045 West 101st, we don't have any point-of-sale violations to worry about this because this is in Cleveland itself. But this property is in Cleveland Heights. And at Cleveland Heights, like a bunch of the other suburbs in Cleveland, they have these crazy point-of-sale requirements. I don't want to jump into the weeds with you right now and burn up a bunch of time in your video. So what I've done is I've already made a highlight video about point-of-sale violations. It's in the show notes below. After this video, I want you to go ahead and click that to take a look at what I'm talking about when I talk about these point-of-sale violations. I break it all down. And that's a nice video you might want to bookmark anytime you're looking at the Cleveland market. You might want to check that out because outside of Cleveland Heights, we also got Euclid has point of sale, Garfield Heights. Uh, Lakewood had point of sale for a very long time. They got rid of it, but I believe they are bringing the point of sale back back for duplexes in Lakewood. So anybody out there who's interested in investing in the Cleveland market, check out the point of sale video because that's incredibly important. Now, Let's take a look at this property. It's currently occupied. Before we get to the pictures, let me tell you the rent roll. Each unit, 3-1. One. one unit is rented for $950. The other is rented for $1,250. So this thing is bringing in $2,200 a month or $26,400 a year. Now let's go to the pictures. The pictures are going to show you uh, what it looked like prior to the landlord putting those tenants in there. So everything looked pretty nice. Nice, solid, hardwoods. And this, just like our previous property, this is another side-by-side. -side. Look, this is a great-looking bathroom. And this is a side-by-side. -side. So what we have is space. We have a huge space. Each of these units has three beds instead of your traditional up-down two that we see so often in the Cleveland market. In addition, we don't have shared laundry. These tenants are completely separate from one another. This is very helpful in getting your turnovers down. That's why I like this property so much. What would the numbers look like with our current rent? Well, we're going to anticipate 110 for repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment capex. Taxes in Cleveland Heights. Cleveland Heights is a very high tax rate, so we do have to pony up 454 a month. Insurance should be about 100 bucks a month. Again, in the show notes below, my farmer's franchise. We want to quote any landlord out there who's watching today's show. We want to quote out insurance premiums on your policies of any property in your portfolio, no matter what state it's in, because I believe we will be able to beat what you're currently paying. That is what we do. Water and sewer should be 150 long care, same as before, 48 or 44 a month. Property management. This is a cool thing about buying a nice high-end property like this. The rent that it's bringing in is $2,200 a month, but you'll notice we cap property management at 100 bucks a unit, so property management's only going to be 200 Here's the other thing, too. These units are both very, very similar, okay? One is bringing in $1,250 a month in rent. The other is only bringing in $950. That's a difference of $300. Bucks. So you could theoretically add another $300 bucks onto this eventually, bringing in $2,500 a month in rent. That's, of course, going to make your numbers look better. And on top of that, the big icing on the cake there is your property management still only going to be $200 a month. You don't have to pay us $250 a month. We reward you for buying nicer, higher-end properties that are going to attract nicer, higher-quality tenants like this because a $1,250 a month tenant is a lot easier for us as a property management company to deal with than like a $650 tenant in a lower-quality neighborhood. You know, my most popular show, our most popular show here on Holton Wise TV is the Tennis from Hell show. I'll throw a couple episodes of that in the show notes below. Anybody out there who thinks that a $1,250 a month tenant is the same as a, a C or D class tenant is out of their goddamn mind. And if you don't believe me, just watch the content on the Tennis from Hell show. So, all that said, though, running it back to the chart, I anticipate... We should spend on average twelve seventy eight a month, which brings our NOI average to nine twenty two a month or eleven thousand sixty four a year. If you picked it up at one hundred eighty thousand, that'd be a six point one five cap. And the mortgage down payment, I know you have forty thousand dollars to work with, Vince, but this would be forty six thousand two hundred fifty dollars. I'm assuming. 
you know, you gave me a budget, but I'm assuming you're able to scrounge up another 6,200 bucks uh, if the deal is good, like this one is. So that'd leave you a mortgage 130, 138,000, which would be a $703 mortgage payment, leaving you a net cash flow after your mortgage average of 219 a month or 2,628 a year, which is a 5.7% cash on cash return, which does not sound great, but remember. There's another $300 on the table because one of the units is rented $300 lower than it needs to be. In addition, these are going to be some nice low-key high-end tenants. I highly doubt you're going to deal with turnovers very, very often. So I do really like this particular property. And if you're interested in purchasing this, like I said, I think it's incredibly important that we try to get that price down, though, right? That 200000 I think that's that's too much. That's too rich for our blood here, but I think we get this thing at 180000 It is a solid deal. All right, Maria, there you have it. These are the two properties that I think would closest fit your needs, right? If you purchase both of these and you didn't use any financing, we're pretty much right there at that $20,000 of net operating income a year, but I know... You want to finance it, so we're going to have to sacrifice some of that net income so you could finance it. But we still have the opportunity for you to go ahead and purchase some more inventory after this. Because if we look at it, if you do do the 30-year loans, you only got 35 tied into Altamont. And then you tack on another 45 or so into prior. So that's going to be, what is that, seven? That's $80,000, which leaves you with another $50,000 to play with here in the Cleveland market. So we could very much find you something similar to what we have here. Just super low risk duplexes nice neighborhoods i know you're interested in lakewood as well there was a few lakewood duplexes on the market uh, but they were a little bit more expensive than these for similar rents um, we're looking in like the 2 to 220 range but that might not be a, bi a bad option for you for that third property since you know your goal is ultimately to spend close to all of that 130k and get you to up around 400 or so that puts you a little bit above it but you know that's right there with the cash you've got available so if you want to make an offer on one or both of these properties shoot my team an email sales at holtonwise.com we will make both of these properties contingent on inspection and do our very best to get you the best possible pricing. And then, of course, after that, we'll handle all of your property management and maintenance needs after the fact. Everybody else who's watching Maria's video, if you'd like to work with me and my team one-on-one -on -one just like this, I want you to go to HoltonWise.com, click the Property Search for Sale tab, go to the MLS Search and Analysis Show, and take a look at the various analysis products I have available for you. In addition, if you don't know if you want to spend that much money or if you're ready to start looking that deep into it where we're working one-on-one, -on -one, what I recommend is you grab some of those real-time MLS feeds. That's going to give you my direct broker access. So the moment a property that fits your criteria hits the market, I will send you an email. You'll get that information before sites like Zillow, Trulia, Realtor.com, and it's already going to be pre-sorted for the type of products you're looking for like maria here she don't want to deal with that high risk stuff so what's the point of scrolling through a bunch of listings on zillow that might be in d-class neighborhoods you're getting all excited or wasting all this time analyzing a property only to find out later that it's well out of your risk tolerance so that's why those real-time mls feeds are very nice you know they're organized and you get the data quicker what more could you want that's all i've got for you today as always i'm james wise with holton wise and this is real estate investing made easy price i mean this is actually a really nice house a little bit more rough a little more ragged it's gonna keep those values high here's quarter mile comps there's two hundred sixty thousand dollars houses right down the street you'll be able to put your offer through me and then after you close holton wise we can handle the property management we'll even be able to help you with the insurance we have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states this deal is 100 percent james wise approved james wise denied Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. 
You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.